Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another mammal watching vlog. Right now I'm in California in the Tahoe National Forest. Going camping here for five days out in the mountains. Of gorgeous views, as you can see. Before you see some mule deer, um, long eared chipmunk, Douglas squirrel, California ground squirrel. Hoping to get American black bear, but who knows? Let's see, we'll find more. Here you can see a long eared chipmunk feeding on what looks like some sort of fungi. They also feed themselves on seeds, fruits and insects. Identifying chipmunks is pretty hard, considering they look so much alike and the differences are very small. So I hope I identified the chipmunks right in this video. Their distribution and altitudes help making it easier, after that you mostly look at their stripes and color. Chipmunks are small members of the squirrel family. The name chipmunk is ascended for the sounds they make. Scientists categorize their sounds using terms like chip, trill and chuck. As you can see here, mule deer have very large ears, they're about half the length of their head. Their ears are also what they're named after. Mule deer occur in deserts, brushlands, forests and mountains. They are very widespread on the west side of the United States of America and very common to encounter. They are unable to see red or orange, but they can see blue much better than us humans can.
In the wild, mule deer live mostly up to 9 to 11 years. In captivity, there have been records of 25 years. There are 25 species of chipmunks in the world, 24 of those live in North America. Yellow-bellied marmots live in alpine meadows, steppes and teleslopes. They excavate their burrows in and amongst teleslopes, rock outcrops and boulder clusters. During hibernation, several individuals may share a burrow. They can live solitary, in pairs or they can live in colonies. They usually have one dominant male marmot, occasionally more than one male. These guys can have a territory up to about 70 hectares. They are mostly smaller, but it really depends on the food abundance and quality. They are most active in the early morning and late afternoon. I filmed these guys in the morning. Later this day, they were out of sight. There are 15 species of marmots in the world, ranging from Alaska to Tibet. These animals can be annoying for travelers. They like to bite on radiator hoses and car wiring. Europeans recognize this behavior from beech marten, which do the same. Marmots are large rodents. They will spend about 80% of their lives in their burrow, during the winter for hibernation. Their hibernation lasts about 8 months, from early September until May. The time they spend above ground is mostly spent on sunbathing while staying alert for predators. They serve as habitat engineers, contributing to the composition and density of plant communities. They are also important prey for many predators and once they have abandoned their burrows, it will probably serve as an important habitat for other species. Like most chipmunks, the least chipmunk carries nuts and seeds from one place to another. So they probably have an important role for seed disposal. They also play an important role for predators such as hawks, snakes, bobcats, martens and more.
The least chipmunk is a diurnal species. You can tell a squirrel is a chipmunk by a distinct striping through their eyes. Here I heard a bear, hoping you could hear it on the video too. Unfortunately, you could not. Unfortunately, the bear didn't show up. I wanted to sit in a different spot. There's nothing here either. So, uh, yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. We're going to Joshua Tree next week. So, to find some nice mammals right there. So, see ya. Bye.